You spent hours prepping and shooting and now you're in the edit and you notice that something's in your shot that shouldn't be there. So what do you do? Blurring footage can be a huge pain if you don't know this trick. So let's talk about how to blur content in your video. I was fresh out of college and I got my first real job in television. I was so excited. I was a producer for a local show. The show was all about plastic surgery and I normally didn't get to be the editor, but I finally got the opportunity. I was so excited to get to have like a real editing job. And the episode was about breast implants. So obviously we can't show the breasts and the nipples on television because it was just on regular television programming. So I had to blur the nipples out. Now, unfortunately for me at the time, I didn't know this trick. I was using Final Cut Pro, um, like an old version and it was really slow and my computer was really slow. And so basically if you know, you know much about editing, there's things called keyframes and you know, you put the blur around the nipple and then you have to go frame by frame. And if the camera moves, you have to move the blur with it. So it was hours upon hours upon hours of blurring a nipple that was undergoing surgery. To make matters worse at the time, like I said, I had a really slow computer, so it would take hours and hours and hours and hours to export this footage. And oftentimes you know, we had very quick turnaround, very fast deadlines. And so I didn't necessarily get a chance to fully watch the exported version before I had to turn it in because I, I would have to leave my computer sitting overnight to export out the video. It would take like 10 hours. And then I'd have to hope and pray that, um, you know, none of the nipple slipped through my blurs or something. And it was going to air on television later that day. And obviously I would get fired and in a lot of trouble if something went wrong. It was a very stressful time in my life, but um, it was a great experience and I learned a lot from it. And now I have a much better setup, a much faster computer that would, those videos now would be exported in like 30 seconds, which just looking back is crazy. Um, I also want to show you this trick so that you don't have to sit and go frame by frame and keyframe something. You're probably not going to be blurring out a nipple, but whatever it is that you're blurring out, this will make your life a whole lot easier. Okay. So I've have my project opened up here. I've added my footage to my timeline. And what we're going to do is blur out this little microphone here. So we're going to go to effects and type blur. We're going to put it over the entire footage. Now we're going to go to effect controls and go to blurriness. Okay. So this would blur out the entire picture, which obviously that's not what I'm trying to do. I just want to blur out that little microphone. So we're going to create, let's do a square because it's kind of a square shape. And then you're going to just move it to cover what you want to blur. And then you can go to blurriness. Oops. Okay. So now it's all blurred out. If you take away the little blue lines, you'll see it's pretty harsh. I don't want it to be that harsh. It's also not like perfectly covering. So we'll go back to our mask. Let's extend it just a bit. And then I'm going to go to the feather right here, mask feather, and I'm going to feather it just a little bit. So it's not, let's see. Make it a little more blurry, less feather, until it looks how I want it. I picked something very small, so it can be kind of hard. Okay. So now it's blurred out. You can't see what it says. Let's see. It doesn't necessarily stay on it. So we'll start at the beginning of our footage. Make sure it fully covers. Looks like it does. 
Okay, now we're going to go right here and we're going to press play. And it's going to track the blur for you. It doesn't always do it 100% perfect, but it does a pretty good job. It's like a, it's like a great start to the process. And then you can go back through and adjust. So let's see how it did. Okay. So that's the end. So did a pretty good job staying on it. I'm going to kind of watch through and see. Yeah. looks like it actually did a really good job on that one. Like I said, let me show you what you could do if for some reason it didn't track it perfectly. You've got all of these little keyframes here. This is every single frame. It goes frame by frame. So let's say right here, it didn't do it like at the end. It wasn't, I can delete these keyframes and then I can move the mask to where I want it to go. If I could go back in time and show, you know, little old nipple blurring me, this trick, it would have saved me just countless, countless hours, countless stressful, um, just ruthless hours of blurring. So next time you are blurring something, use this little trick, press that play button. It's gonna make your life so much easier. We have some other really great videos that go through video production and editing so that you can improve your skills and make better content. So go ahead and check out our video production and editing playlist. We are your video allies. You've got this, we've got your back and we cannot wait to see what kind of content you create.